couple minutes till 11 a.m. and we're off on another road trip. Yep. Not to Disney, wah, but wah, wah. we're heading the other way. We're gonna head up to Vermont. North. Well, north. First time going to Vermont for me. What about you? Yeah, I've never been either. First time for both of us. So running the Vermont Marathon this weekend. It is Memorial Day weekend, long weekend. Today is Friday, so we're gonna hit the road, drive up, trying to decide which route we want to take, and just curious what kind of traffic we're gonna run into. Hopefully everyone's going south. <laughs> yeah. So we figured we'd take you along on the ride and see what we can uh, stop off and see on this uh, road trip and uh, end up at Vermont later on in this, uh, in the evening. And we're just going through the last minute essentials, getting Bo and Luke situated for their, uh, their weekend to themselves. My dad will be checking in on them. And uh, we're making sure they're gonna be on their best behavior. But finish uh, some last minute packing and uh, getting stuff in the truck and then we'll be on the road. Joe's bringing cherries and bananas. Looks like we got everything else. Race essentials. Weekend essentials. Ready to hit the road. Ready to hit the road. Here we go. These are all the people heading south. Shore traffic. Down the shore for Memorial Day weekend. The start of the summer. It's here be, in uh, New nice. Jersey. It's gonna be a nice weekend for it. Yeah, it's actually supposed to be really nice. I think it's supposed to be a little chilly down there because I think it's supposed to be a little windy, but um. What's funny is it's gonna be warmer in Vermont. Than here. By like 10 degrees on Sunday. Oh yeah? Yep. And the thing with Memorial Day weekend down the shore is you never know what it's gonna be like. Like it could be freezing, it could be rainy, you could be sweating, you know? Now there, everyone's getting a head start. Just thought it was cool how low that plane is flying. We're getting close to the Newark Airport. So we're See, right like outside of uh, Staten Island. Yeah, right outside of New York. What's that bridge? I'm not sure to be honest with you. We should be able to see the skyline soon. There's a couple of things in the way, but. The New York style. Yeah. So, it's more, uh, it's more hectic up here this way. A lot more roads, yeah. a lot more trucks. There's the exit for the New York airport. Yep, oh, there it is. clearest view but you can see some of the buildings as we drive by here oh, there we go that's better that's job, yeah and so that's the New York City skyline Bye, New Jersey. 
Jersey. Oh, look. New York State Line. Oh, here you go. Big Apple. Well, I guess New York City is the Big Apple. Taking the wheel. Jill's taking it over. Not bad. About three and a half hours left. It's been pretty smooth. Stopped and filled up the gas tank. Got a couple, yeah, got a couple snacks. Still in New York in the greater Catskill area. Just showing the update. So it's like they just put sticks of dynamite in these mountains to blow it away to put these roads in. Isn't that crazy? Sorry, yeah. <clears throat> you know, think about it. Yeah, I don't know how it works. They had to carve them out, all these remaining rocks. It's amazing. Kind of remind you of Tower of Terror off in the distance. <laughs> Spaceship Earth even further in the distance. <laughs> I wish. Amazing how thin that building is. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. We're finally getting some sights and scenery. I mean the natural landscape was very nice, but it's nice and nice to look at different things. We are now approaching the three hour mark. And I guess we're in Albany. Oh, wow, look at that thing. Oh yeah, it's like a spaceship looking uh, thing over there. Interesting. I wonder if these are NBA hoops. Yeah, look at all these hoops. <laughs> we're gonna be installed somewhere. Those are nice. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Uh, I like how the one actually has the net on it already. Yeah, and how they're not like covered with yeah. for a rock bounce and they probably shatter it. Yeah. You know? I don't know. It's pretty thick. Thanks. You know those players hang on them. That's true. We just went by one of those digital portable side billboards that like the police put up. I don't know what it said before it, but all I caught was consider alternate routes. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, but I thought that was for 87 North. Uh, I, I think we're going... I, I mean, we're getting off, but I don't I don't think that was affecting us, but I'm not sure. Or is this just rerouting us, trying to get us around some traffic? I don't know. Everyone's getting off on this exit, though. We were just sitting in this. And then we realized it's trying to get us up past this, so we're the next exit, not this exit. Get ourselves a pineapple dole whip at this roller skating rink. It's a lot of trash. <laughs> Think it just happened? said there was an accident, do you think yeah. it involved a garbage truck? Maybe. Could have. Cause look, now it's like open. Yeah. Two and a half hours left. We didn't really make it far. Didn't really feel like we made it far. I don't, I think we just got on here at a different point. Yeah. Just been hitting the snags now. But at least it's not pushing us back to like an 11 p.m. 11.30 p.m., 12 a.m. arrival. We found that happen. Yeah, like every time. Yeah, we'll still be getting in at a decent time though. Yeah. You know. Like right now, that's a nice rest stop area. That's cool. Um, saying 7.30 arrival. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. So that's a decent arrival time. 
if we just keep consistency now moving forward. Great escape. Six Flags Great Escape? I want to go there. No, there was no signs. About a minute ago, we saw a sign with an arrow that said bridge to Vermont, and it was pointing left, and we continued straight, which is what the GPS wants us to do. So, I have a feeling we're very close to entering Vermont. Hopefully there's another bridge. We officially made it. We made it. Jill's left a little bit of trash behind on the seat there. We're at the Double Tree in Burlington. I love how they fit three bikes in that spot. That's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna unpack and uh, check the room out. We'll show you the room once we get settled. Well, we made it. And this is a pretty nice hotel. It's really cool. I can't wait to show around, but we got room 213, and uh, just do a quick little show of the room. Very nice big bathroom, very modern, probably just updated. It's even got a, I guess that's a seat in the shower. That's very nice. I love the illuminated mirror. That's really cool. Nice wide hallways. Closet right off here with the digital safe. Nice big open layout room here couch probably pulls out to a a sleeper sofa nice desk area but the coolest part is we realized it was one of those you know hotels where like they have like the in inside facing rooms look out into like the main areas of the hotel so like there's a tavern restaurant there's a um a, a restaurant for like breakfast. You can even see the pool over there, indoor pool. Well, it opens a little bit. Yeah. Only six inches. Six inches. You can hear the music. Yeah, so it's got like the skylights up there. That's really nice. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So I really like the room. What do you think? Yeah, I love it. So we're here, we're gonna unpack and Get some grub. Yeah, we need to go get some food. We're really hungry, so probably try out that restaurant right over there. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like there's people in there. Yeah, and then maybe who knows? Maybe we'll try out the pool. I wonder if there's like a time they close it. Oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So we'll check that we out. Should stop by the front desk. Too. Yeah, we got to stop by the front desk and see about the. Uh... And look, they have a Keurig. Oh yeah, there's a Keurig with all the fixings there. Oh look, Vermont. Vermont. 
country cool. blend. Um, Got to find out about where the expo is. The expo is here. Oh, yeah. Expo is somewhere in this hotel, in this vicinity. So we got to figure out where that is because I'm sure there's many different um, conference, rooms. conference rooms. And about the shuttle. Like, is it just the double tree shuttle? Do they take like 10 people at a time? Is there a bigger shuttle? Because this is the only hotel that does a shuttle to the race. So. I'm sure a lot of people are staying here. Yeah, so if they're just, maybe there's multiple little vans, I don't know. I just want to see how that works. So, time to eat. Yeah, hungry. All right, let's go eat. And there's our room. Right there, the one on the right. That's so cool. Yeah, this is really nice. Well, we just got back from the tavern, which is literally walking distance. Right there. So we just had some dinner. We had, uh, I had a protein bowl. Jill had a cob salad with salmon instead of bacon. And then we went over and right over yonder, we uh, located where the expo is for tomorrow. We found a convention space for the race expo. So. We went over and saw where we're supposed to go get this stuff for tomorrow. And, uh, you know, walked around a little bit, checked out the, you know, the <laughs> resort. resort. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's it very big. It it's it's very like nice. a sprawling resort. It is very nice. Went and got two more gallons of water out of the truck. Um, I like to drink a gallon of water a day, so I like to pre-pack and have, you know, one for each day. It was a bit much to carry when we had everything else, so we left two behind, so I went and got them just now. But that's gonna do it for today. A long travel day yeah. from New Jersey to Vermont via a long day through New York. <laughs> yeah. Long day through New York. It was interesting, yeah. but it was, uh, it was fun. It was worth it. It's a great resort. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? It's a really nice resort. I wonder how many conferences they actually have here. Yeah. Because they do have, they have a lot, I think four different conference rooms. Okay. So I'm just, I'm, you know, curious to someone who goes to conferences for work sometimes. Um, I'm curious, you know, because yeah. they have a nice pool. I mean, it is very nice. Just from the but, outside looking yeah. at this place, yeah, you, you wouldn't, wouldn't realize think. how big it actually is. Because yeah. it just keeps going and going and going. And it's only a couple floors high. Yeah, yeah, that's so, true. So, yeah. Yeah, but you wouldn't again, realize. Yeah, I just can't get over this view. I love this view. I think it's the coolest thing that we have this like indoor view that is overlooking. It looks like you're outside. It looks like you're outside, outside. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to be the expo. <clears throat> and uh, then we're going to go kind of travel around Vermont and see what we can get into. Yeah, we'll see what's local. I don't know. <clears throat> what we can find, but yeah. we'll, I'm sure we'll get into something. Looking forward to it. That's yeah. going to do it for today. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night.